Hey guys, Paul from Montana. I've been working on a 2003 Silverado HD 2500 off and on for a few days. Keep getting stumped and I finally figured it out. So I'm going to share, you, share some information with you. Maybe it'll help you. Problem with this truck was the gauges didn't work. None of them. I mean, I've seen it where a couple don't work right and I've, I've actually replaced stepper motors in them and done all that stuff, but they, they just flat out didn't work. The backlighting worked. So it was what I found out through a bunch of research and just this and that and the other thing. Um, there are two power sources to this gauge cluster. There's a power source that gives it the backlighting and maybe some of the other engine codes that you get up there. Uh, the other power source is for the stepper motors. So if you pull the gauge cluster out of your truck and you take, see that connector right there? Um, you can unplug that and then you take the little blue, there's a little blue clip. Sorry, I got stuff laying everywhere. This is probably more confusing than, <laughs> than actually helping you. But you take this little blue clip out of that, um, <laughs> that wire harness so you can access, you know, the tail end of the wires where they're conductive. And you put your meter on that black and white wire on the top of the screen, uh, ground and then you test that orange wire. That orange wire should always, always have battery power to it. 12 volts, 12.5 volts, whatever. The pink wire is ignition uh, power. So when you turn the truck on, then you should get 12, 13, 14 volts through that, whatever the alternator's pushing out. The problem with this truck is it had no power to that orange wire right in the center of your screen. Nothing. So, the first thing I did was um, I tried to figure out, actually I stuck a, a really sharp um, probe into the wire a little ways back to make sure it wasn't, you know, the connector out on the end. Still, same reading, um, no volts, maybe just a, a little bit of voltage running through there. And then I tried to find where the wire goes and I gave up with that real quick. But a little internet research gave me an answer. Um, so I found out that this fuse box here, the fuse that gives power to the stepper motors for the gauges is IPC forward slash DIC 10 amps right in the center of your screen. I pulled the fuse out and it was blown. That's all it was. But, you know, sometimes you learn the hard way. I'm hoping that this uh, video will um, give you the answer so you don't fumble around for three hours like I did trying to figure this out. Uh, it's not clear what that fuse is and I pulled a bunch of fuses out of here and, and checked them but I must have just skipped right over that one or not noticed it or I don't know what happened. But you can also see inside of this um, fuse block there's some issues. There's been a mouse in here or something so I'm afraid that there could be an issue underneath it too causing, a, you know, causing the fuse to blow so I might pull that out of there and check it out. The other thing I learned was um, the power to your backlighting on this truck is that one right there. See where it says gauges? That's not really an accurate um, label. It's actually just the backlighting for the gauges. 15 amp TBC 2A. So um, yeah, I hope that helps you. I fixed this thing. Um, and I'm pretty happy about it, and I, I took the long road to do it, but uh, maybe I just gave you the short road. All right, thanks for watching.